How much does it take to start a company? Now, are we talking about starting a company or yes. starting a or starting a, biz, a distributorship? Well, the next question was, how much should it cost or take to start a distributorship? So let's say company, then distributorship. Well, uh, starting a company, uh, you know, some of the best companies in the country have been started uh, in the garage. You know, mm -hmm. when Nike was started for my hometown. Apple. Apple computers. computer in the yeah. garage. Uh, the Microsoft. Microsoft. Some of the greatest companies in America were started on a shoestring in a garage, and some of the best multi-level companies were started on a shoestring in somebody's back bedroom. And we've seen companies fail who have been funded with millions of dollars. Uh, but reasonably speaking, uh, uh, today a company that is, uh, that is going out into the market probably is going to be funded with upwards of a half a million dollars mm -hmm. to really put together all of the right sorts of uh, of, uh, of components to to do a good job but really that's a very subjective factor mm -hmm. distributorship distributorship is something different distributorship when we say shoestring we really do mean shoestring because what makes you successful in network marketing as a distributor is your own hard work almost every leading company in the direct selling industry asks only one thing of a distributor who gets into the business and that's the purchase of a modestly priced, and I'm talking generally $20 to $50 mm -hmm. sales kit, which consists of training manuals, uh, tapes, uh, product order forms, distributor sign-up forms, uh, educational materials, product brochures, the things to get you into business. But we're talking about peanuts. After that point, the business and your success is totally dependent on your time, your effort, what you put into it is what you get out of it. Okay. And so it is truly a, a, a tremendous opportunity on a shoestring.